Hey guys, so we're doing the speed and benchmark test here between some high-end phones. We do have the uh, OnePlus 3, the Google Pixel, the Galaxy S7, Xperia XZ, and the iPhone 7. So I'll just quickly show you the phones here. So you can see these are the legitimate things. And uh, you can see, very nice, S7. Pixel phone and the OnePlus 3. Uh, so we're going to start and look at the same time here and see the boot up speed. Uh, and the OnePlus 3 is extremely annoying when it comes to these tests because a lot of the time it goes into the uh, fast boot mode, which is annoying. So that one is going to uh, be uh, a challenge, but we're going to see if we can do this here and see you know if we can line them up a little bit uh, so let's uh, let's go oh so you saw we did go into the fast boot mode there a little bit with the one plus three as I said it's really annoying but we did do it here, pretty much. Who's gonna boot up first? Oh, iPhone 7 for the win. Then S7, wow. So iPhone 7 takes the crown here in late 2016. Oh, Pixel third. Not bad, not bad. So I'm just lowering the brightness a little bit so it doesn't blind you. And uh, one plus three comes in fourth, a little bit slow there. And as usual, you know, this is what we expect from Sony. Sony is behind, <laughs> but maybe it can catch up when it comes to the boot up. Uh, sorry, the benchmark we're going to see here. Uh, so we're going to run Antutu uh, benchmark here. That's the wrong one. Uh, let's get rid of that. I'm not going to let you sit through it because it's extremely boring, obviously but we're going to speed up the video to get to the end and see uh, you know who goes through it fast and who gets the best score so let's see we do have a benchmark here as you can see nice so I've given them permission so they should all run straight away here and uh, yeah I'll speed this up so we have come to the end here on the iPhone 7, as you can see, 169,008, very nice score with the Apple A10. Uh, it looks like the OnePlus 3 is next to finish up here, uh, which is right, very nice. Faster than you can see the uh, new Snapdragon 821, which is really weird. Uh, you know, you'd expect some uh, improvement to the uh, speed here but maybe the actual score will be you know higher we'll have to see so one plus uh, three coming with 142,704 very nice score here higher than the pixel uh, the s7 a little bit low there it is an exynos s7 so i was expecting better Oh, and Sony. Sony's come with 140,000, uh, which is just below the OnePlus uh, 3. iPhone 7, well out in front, as you can see, with these scores here. Uh, so, very interesting. I was expecting the Pixel to be at least ahead of, you know, the pack here, coming with the latest, uh, you know, processor stuff. So, that uh, is very interesting. So, you can see these are detailed CPU. Uh, scores so you know uh, that uh, is for your viewing pleasure uh, so we're going to move on now and have a look at the uh, Geekbench again I'm going to uh, speed this through so you don't get bored obviously and let's uh, open it up here on all of them do we have it on here there we go and I think we have it on here as well. Geekbench. So let's run this. Uh, 
and I'll be back in a bit. So we're coming to the end now and as you can see iPhone leads the pack again when it comes to single core and the multi-core. OnePlus again coming uh, very nice in terms of the actual speed of the benchmark uh, with uh, very nice scores. Uh, which again ahead of the pixel what the hell's going on there you know you expect the latest uh, processor to be to be the best I mean it feels like Snapdragon is really slipping you know I think that in a year or so even Huawei Kirin like chips will be ahead of Snapdragon uh, so basically you can see we do have uh, the XZ coming with uh, not very good scores with this particular test and the Exynos I think coming uh, just uh, behind the iPhone when it comes to everything here so you can see a very nice multi-core and single core uh, in the Exynos uh, processor so I'll just give you the the charts here how they compare against other devices uh, so yeah you know uh, very interesting I was expecting the you know, Apple A9 to be quite ahead here, or A10, should I say? Uh, but I didn't quite expect the Pixel to be such, you know, uh, not very good when it comes to the benchmark. But maybe they just need to optimize the Android Nugget. Obviously, it is a very new software, so uh, you know that could be the reason there. So yeah, uh, I hope you found this video helpful. If you're looking for, you know, the benchmarks of the new Pixel phone and uh, some of the phones so uh, yeah i'll see you in the next one cheers